Hello everyone, this is a tutorial for my for my new skin pack. It's not really a skin pack, but you know, it's fine. So it's uh, about how to make bendy arms with my model that I spent four days on. So what you're gonna do is get from the folder, get the thing called texture guide, the file called texture drag, drag it on and open it. Okay, I'm gonna put on display capture. Now that you're on display capture, you have to realize, wait a second, what is this? There is, there's nothing. Where's the skin? What am I gonna do? What does this mean? So, well, this part, well, this part is only if you have sleeves and legs, if you have legs, but probably have legs. So, the black part represents all the parts you want to keep, and this represents well everything else well if this represents all the sleeves that you're gonna need to retexture the skin so let's get a random minecraft skin so minecraft skins like this skins and let's just say let's just say i wanted to use the green robot right so i would drag the green robot skin right on top add it as a layer and you can see that it automatically went on top. So what you're going to do first is, because each thing is six blocks tall, that's for the bending part. So what you're going to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. And paste that. Oops. I think I'm dumb. Delete that. But now that I have it pasted, drag it down onto this part. Now I'll do the exact same part. Drag over, copy, delete, paste, drag. Now what are these parts? Well, this is the top and that's the bottom. Top, bottom, right? Yeah, top. This is the top of the leg. So the texture that was on top, make sure it... Wait, wait. Okay, the te you know the texture that was on the top? So the texture on top, you put the top on there because that represents the top part of the leg. And then for the bottom part, you copy the other part. And then you put it on the bottom slot. And then you're going to want to delete this. This is the rest of other parts. You don't, worry, you don't need to worry about this. So what you're going to do now is check if there's anything else you miss. Look, I just missed something. What's that? Editor's note, I made a mistake about the black part. It was supposed to, I was missing a part for the arm, so I just fixed that. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, I made a mistake, sorry. So you're gonna make this black. I'm gonna make this black. So what you're gonna do now, now that you have this, is put this back on top, copy the legs part again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy, delete. Paste. And then do that the other part again. Man C, delete, paste. And now you have everything you need except this. Take this real quick. Copy. This is the top. Put that right there. And this is the bottom. So if you have any, uh, what is it called? If you have any sleeves, you're gonna have to do the exact same thing with the sleeves. So like, your sleeves are normally over here. So like, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way across. Copy, paste, copy, paste, top, bottom, top, bottom. Same thing for your pants down here. 
and and then let's go to the project. Also, what you're gonna do is save it as a PNG. Just save this as. Uh... Oh wait, no. You have to delete the background, then you save it. You don't want the background to show up to you. And then, okay. Now you use the texture guide to split up all the textures into only the textures you need. Now what you do is you open your skin editor. Then you load a project. Create a CPM folder for ease of access. And then you're gonna open the project Manoa's Bendy Arms that you just downloaded. You can just use your desktop too, but it doesn't really matter. It's so annoying. Now what you gotta do is file load CPM and then I it's same thing it's the same project but it's just renamed. Now you see it has it has bendable and if you wanna bend it you just gotta do this. And you can see the sleeves are also attached. So what you're gonna do for each arm, but first you wanna do is Open skin, go to wherever you put it. For example, I put it on my desktop, and it's this one, I believe. It was that was the wrong one. We made the texture sheet really big, and I set it to the same size of the texture sheet. Now that we have the skin, you want to do this. You want to press Add Second Layer. I don't know why they went so hard. So now that you did this, all you want to do is, if you have any pants, for example, or legs. But because you use my texture sheet, if you use the legs, if you put them on top, right? If you use the legs on top. If you put the legs on top, just like mine, it will... Every part will be in the exact same spot. So, for example, put the legs on the top and put everything else on the side. Blah blah blah. There's a. It doesn't have to be predetermined because if you want to, you have to edit the UV map. And there's also a sleeve for each part. So what you're gonna do is, um. If it if you need a different texture for each part of your body, you can do this. You can scroll down. Let's go like a hundred or something. Let's say let's say you put your texture. Let's say you put your texture right under this, and then you can see it like, hey, my texture is. Let's just make a random texture right here. Look, now you have your, your own little texture for your arm. You can also make your own textures. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. So now you have a texture for your arm. That's That that texture is also in the same spot because, you know, it, it's not actually supposed to be here, but, you know. So that's basically how you do it. And let's show this off in animation. You can bend your arms like this let's just say i put in this pose oh, let's delete this so if you want to do this additive delete that walking oh, and then put in walking all i gotta do is just let's just say on frame zero plus you're bending your arm say 40 degrees that's not the right thing Let's say we rotated it 40 degrees. Now your arm is properly bending. Except I messed that up. I put it in the position. This is somewhere. Yeah, like there. And now your arms are bending during the walk animation. So your arms will constantly be bending during the walk animation. You can make your own custom animations because the legs can also bend. But I do not recommend 
editing the legs if you're not experienced because you will not be able to wear armor without the legs clipping through the armor so be aware be aware of that that's about it and thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to make this thing work it took me four days